Hey guys, welcome to another one of these book recommendations. Um, today I'm going to talk about The Old Man and the Sea. And I need to start with, don't read this book. It's a trap. It's a trap because it's 96 pages yet four points. It's the shortest book probably out there in our library that's not poetry. Uh, yet it gives you the highest score you can get on our literature list. That should tell you that this book is hard super hard the hardest and that you should only read this book for your speaking exam if you are really good at analyzing literature um if not don't read it please but i'll do the groundworks first and then i'll repeat why not to read it okay so um it's the old man and see by Ernest hemingway that's that old dude up there um right there you can see a picture of the cover of the book and let's carry on to the basic info. So the title is The Old Man and the Sea. The author is Ernest Hemingway. It was released in 1952, so it's been a while. So the context is not super easy either. Um, and it had only 96 pages. Uh, the book won loads and loads of prizes. Actually, it made Ernest Hemingway as famous as he is today. Uh, and it also made people revalue his old work. Um, he won, I think, a Nobel Prize for it even. So it's very famous, basically. Um, so what is this story about then? Well, it's the story of a fisherman and the fisherman goes out to sea and tries to catch a, sea, a fish out there. Um, the fish that he's trying to catch is a rather big one, uh, an extremely big one actually, and he really, really struggles to get him in. Um, and it's not so much even just about that struggle. He was already struggling to fish anyway because he hadn't been catching a lot of fish for a while. The story really isn't about that though. It's, it's a very symbolical story and it's got many, many layers in there, uh, which I'm not going to betray because I'm going to take all the fun out of it then. Um, so usually uh, this is where we end by saying, great, you should read this book because, and then there's a list of reasons why you should read it. Um, today I'm going to end with a little list of why you shouldn't read this book. Uh, for one, the story is not super interesting for most teenagers. Uh, I mean, it's about a guy going fishing, and I don't know what your favorites are, of course, but when I was a teenager, that wasn't one of my favorites. Um, also, it's super, super hard to analyze. It's got uh, allegory in it, uh, as in biblical allegory, so you have to know something about the Bible and the stories in the Bible to be able to understand this one very uh, correctly. Um, it's also got a lot of context knowledge in it. Um, Hemingway was, uh, was someone who fought in the world wars and he was really traumatized by it. Um, and that's in this book as well, but it's not literally in there. So you have to take it out of there yourself and that makes it very hard. And then there's also the whole psychological, uh, struggle in this book that needs analyzing. So it's very hard. And in general, there will be very, very hard questions about it in the speaking exam. So as I said, please do not read this because you think it's an easy fix for your speaking uh, exam. Uh, it's not, um, it's super hard and I strongly, strongly recommend you to pick another book. Um, if you'd really like to read Ernest Hemingway because you're very interested in Hemingway and that's how you ended up with this uh, video, then I'd say uh, maybe some of his other works are a little bit more suitable. They're a little bit easier to understand, even though they're still quite hard because Hemingway in general is quite hard, um, um, quite a hard author to read. Um, but I recommend reading one of these books, The Sun Also Rises, A Farewell's Arms Are For Whom the Bell Tolls. All of these are also very famous. So for all of these, you can also find a lot of information out there, but none of them are as highly symbolical as The Old Man and the Sea. So to finish up this uh, uh, video, I'd like to repeat one more time. Do not read The Old Man and the Sea it's a trap. Your English teacher is out to get you. Just so you know. All right. See you around next time for an actual recommendation.